Hello, hi. Yeah, um, today I just wanted to share with you this company called LB Mare Corporation. Um, that's um, they actually provide uh, mining lithium. Um, LB Mare is the largest lithium electric vehicle bat uh, batteries uh, miners, and also the largest in um, US right now, whereby they actually have salinated water type of mining which is uh, uh, less uh, intrusive to the environment compared to those uh, open pit mining kind of uh, way, which they need to use a lot of chemical to dilute the clay and, and all that. So um, you can see that uh, Albemary Corporation ALB has actually dropped a little. And you know I see that there will be a, a great super cycle coming up. Um, it's, this is also a dividend stock, take note. Um, okay, so the one thing I'd like to say is um, um, the white gold rush, just to share with you a bit about um, how mining is like. These brilliant blue pools come from wells that tapped underground salt aquifers. Each of them, nearly 500 football fields long, are rich in lithium. This quiet, and desolate oasis is home to the element that powers our fast and loud world. It's critical to fight climate change and the source of our energy for electric vehicles, laptops, and cell phones. The lithium that helps to power our phones looks like this. You can see why it's sometimes called white gold. Between 2008 and 2018, annual global production of lithium more than tripled. Now by 2030, it's expected to go up more than a thousand percent. Lithium production in the U.S. is just tiny compared to Australia, South America, and China. More than half the world's lithium is produced in Chile. In Australia, they mine for it mostly in solid form. But at Silver Peak here in Nevada, it starts as a liquid. It's the lightest metal known to man. It's very energy dense. That reactivity in nature makes it hard to come by. So what's happening here in this closed basin over tens of thousands of years is mother nature gradually bringing it into this valley like any other mineral that's extracted in a liquid form you're going down anywhere from a couple hundred to a couple thousand feet now once the original well is drilled it goes through a series of ponds they look beautiful the sun and the arid nature of nevada here takes care of the processing 18 months later lithium carbonate so as you can see, um, there is the liquid form as well as the solid form. And it looks like uh, it's more, uh, especially lithium, they are available in most uh, desert area or uh, hilly terrain kind of area where water are quite scarce. They need to dig wells deep below like 40 meters and all that. So this, um, in, so it, it, it kind of like increases the cost of production uh, of mining the lithium. So whenever if you look for a lithium company to invest, you know, if they have a mining that is uh, whereby the lithium mines are in liquid form, um, it actually helps a lot um, whereby going through electrolysis, like what um, Elon Musk just patented recently, you can actually separate them with uh, uh, less intrusive, uh, less environmental intrusive techniques. So I just want to show you a bit more about um, how environment are important in the... Average annual rainfall of just 15 millimeters. Water is scarce in... The salt flats are all that's left of saline lakes that developed millions of years ago. Surface water is scarce here and it is vital for the survival of wildlife like these flamingos. The Chilean company SQM has been mining lithium for 25 years at a facility on the Atacama salt flat. SQM is the world's number two producer of lithium. Workers pump brine to the surface from a depth of 40 meters. The brine is then placed in basins where the liquid evaporates over several months, leaving behind lithium slag. This process uses a lot of water. Pipelines run across the desert floor to supply the mining facility. 
The water comes from wells that tap into the groundwater. So as you can see, um, lithium mines where they require a lot of water definitely increases the cost of production. So something to take note. Um, is there a new super cycle in metals and minerals? This is something that probably I will put an article here, uh, the link here for you to read. Quite an interesting article. Um, this is the chart for uh, Albert Mary Corporation. Um, of course, uh, now owned by Albert Mary Corporation, a mining company in Chattersville, uh, and one of the four global mining conglomerates that control the majority of the world lithium supply. So look at this, a very good company. Um, as you mentioned, I mentioned earlier just now in the video, lithium always have a water issue and that's always uh, cause uh, a lot of environmentalists, especially in US, uh, that protest or file legal suit to stop the opening of the mine. So this is SQM, another company that I mentioned in my previous videos um, that uh, they have uh, Chilean uh, mines so um yeah so basically and i put a website here for you to take a look as well so yeah um that's all for today i think let me see i just want to show you a very interesting article second hour. i'll show you some quick article on this he's the nevada state director for the center for biological diversity he says this is not going to be the same mine that we saw at Silver Peak. This is an open pit mine. So this is going to be much more reminiscent of a gold mine or a copper mine. Once the mine goes in, how long do they have? The mining company's own estimates are less than 10. So as you can see, this is the open pit mine, which is a reminiscence of the gold mine. So it's a quite environmentally intrusive and, um, and there's a shortage of water. So cost of production in this kind of mines uh, would be a lot higher. So yeah, take note, you know, because cost of production are very important when you want to invest in a lithium mining company. So yeah, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.